You miss me? I miss all of y'all. Here we go. Hey everybody, so this is Key Marie. I am here to do the Classic Confidential tag. Now this tag is very old, but um, I remember seeing it maybe like last year maybe. Um, I'm not sure when it actually started. Um, but I decided to go ahead and do it. Um, no one has tagged me in it, um, but I thought it would be fun to do. So um, I have all the questions here, and um, so if I'm looking down, um, that's because I'm looking at my phone reading the questions, okay? So let's jump right into this confidential closet. So the first question is, what is the oldest item in your closet? Okay, so be this dress it's um it looks like nothing right now on the hanger but what it is is off um you put it off the shoulder and then it has the sleeves is kind of like bell bottom like and it's short so if i happen to find a picture with me in it um i'll post it so you can get an idea of how the dress is um because if i've been on this um hanger it just looks like ugh, what is that is that like a choir robe or something um, but it's um, I got this from Victoria's Secret like years ago and um, I've worn it a few times I don't wear it anymore um, but the, I would say this is the oldest item in my closet Um, the next question is, what is the newest item in your closet? Um, my newest item in my closet is this dress. So don't laugh at me because I did not iron this before I um, pulled everything out for this tag. So it's a dress. It's kind of like that olive green color. Oh, it looks really pretty on this camera, uh, but it is a off-the-shoulder um, dress. This summer, I'm all into off-the-shoulder. Like, I try to get everything. Like, I've only got like two things off-the-shoulder so far, but that's like my goal to do. Like, buy as many off-the-shoulder shirts as possible because I am really digging, digging off-the-shoulders this summer. So. Um, very, I feel like it's very sexy and flirty and cute all at the same time. So, um, yeah, I got this from H&M. It's um, short, um, but yeah, it's like this and you just put it off the shoulders and it's uh, almost like, like a little sleeve. It is kind of like a little sleeve, but yeah, so I love it. I love it. I love it. And I can't wait to wear it. I have not worn it yet. So, this is my newest item. Next question is... What is the most expensive item? So, the most, I tried to think, you guys. I tried to think and I'm like, okay, what is the most expensive item in my closet? And I think that it would have to be these Nikes I have. Um, I'm not really a gym shoe person. Well, I'm from Chicago, so we say gym shoes, but tennis shoe person. So, um, <laughs> um, so, this what I would have to say would be the highest, um, the most expensive thing I have in my closet. And um, that's because I just had to have these shoes. So <laughs> I did not like, yeah, I didn't, I just had to have them. So I did not care how much they cost. But they are these, um, these Nikes. I love them though. You know, I love them even though they were expensive. But um, I haven't gotten, I kind of forgot about them, that I had them. Um, so I really need to bring these back out and wear them. I bought them like the beginning of this year and um, I didn't get a chance to really wear them because they are like this mesh um, material. So, you know, in the, in the winter time, you know, with snow and everything. Um, you know that'll be wet so um but yeah i had just had to get them and i believe this is the highest the most expensive thing i have in my closet what's the biggest bang for your buck so the biggest bang for my buck would be this leather jacket i got this from forever 21 it I would, I, I 
don't know. I probably have something else in my closet that would be a bit, you know, would represent this question better, but um, I couldn't think really. So <laughs> this leather jacket I got from from Forever 21, and I can't remember how much it is, um, it was because I did get this like a few years ago. Um, but I feel like um, the price may have been maybe I don't know, maybe. 40 I'm not sure I can't remember but I feel like this was the biggest bang for my book um, because I wear this leather jacket a lot um, if you look on my Instagram you've probably seen this jacket before um, I have I just I'm just in love and I have like multiple little leather jackets but I feel like this one is the one that I wear the most because I just like the the feel of it and I like the um, the um, structure of the jacket. I really love the structure of the jacket. Um, so I think I um, wear this the most <laughs> amongst the other um, leather jackets that I have. Next question is What was the biggest bargain? And I would have to, um, in my closet, would have to be this um, royal blue um, wool, wool kind of jacket. Um, I remember buying this, um, I think towards the beginning of this year, or well, it may have been last year. It may have been last year, but I would, um, it was a bargain. You will not believe how much I paid for this jacket. And if you could really, uh, this showing up on camera would not give this jacket justice. You have to see this in person. The feel of it. Oh my goodness, the structure of it, um, the um, the way it looks, period, and it's heavy. This jacket is heavy. Um, so you know it's very, you know, like it's not. I paid $20 for this jacket, and it's so cute. Like, look at the detail in this jacket. It's so cute. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this. I think along the color is what gives the um, gets me the compliments because it's just so it's just such a pretty color. As you can tell I wear a lot of blue. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got this for twenty dollars. It was on sale because um, I believe it was higher. I, I, I think the original price were, was maybe sixty dollars. What was the biggest waste of money? So, in my closet, like I'm a very, I wouldn't say cheap, I'll say thrifty. I'm very thrifty. Like I get quality looking clothes, but I make sure I do not break the bank when I purchase my items. Um, so, a lot of times people may think and see me and think I spent a lot of money on my clothes, but actually I didn't. I don't like to spend a lot. The thing, okay, so the question was what was the biggest waste of money and I would have to say sorry I have things on my table I would have to say these shoes see they're still in a plastic it's not in a shoe box anymore but it's um because I got these when I went to New Orleans and so I took them out of the um, shoe box so that I can have you know squish them in my suitcase so these shoes call myself trying to you know step out of the box and get different color shoes because I always get the same color either this brown black um that cognac color uh you know so I was like let me get a heel that's totally different from what I would get like you know see this has a wooden heel and you know it's, it's that they're cute but the color of it it looks orangey it is kind of, it's pretty much is orange but um yeah this was a waste of my money. I got it from Nine West, and I think I probably may have worn these maybe once, maybe once, if that. And it's like I can't think of anything to wear with it. Um, I just don't go to this shoe. You know, it's just a regular pump. But yeah, I feel like it was a waste of money because I don't even wear these <laughs> at all. I've worn them probably once and that's probably just because I felt like I needed to because they were in my closet for so long and I didn't even wear them. So, and then the last question is show us your three favorite items. So my three favorite items are, and I'll do an order as far as how much I love them too. 
the first item would be my distressed jeans. I have about maybe five pairs of distressed jeans. I love distressed jeans. Oh my God, I love them so much. And I have them in different um, wash. I have them in dark wash, um, real light wash, medium wash. Um, I have um, I have boyfriend jeans with distress on it. I have these tight skinny jeans with distress on it. I have um, like these are supposed to be like slouchy jeans or whatever. But I just love distress jeans. I've been in love with distress jeans for like years. Um, I would say. I mean years years but now it's back out well I don't I feel like they never went away um to stress jeans but I feel like it's you see it more now than ever and I've even went to the point as you know distress I have a few jeans that I distress myself that I you know um I wouldn't say I, I guess created you know, I distress them myself so but I just love to stress jeans they just they just put a little you know mm, to every outfit you know and you can dress them up you can dress it down um you know of course you couldn't go into where anywhere formal with distress jeans but as far as you could put on some nice you know heels on with it with a little leather jacket and it gives a little edge to your outfit or you can have a nice summer day with some sandals oh, my second you know, favorite would have to be my jean shirt my blue jean shirt I love my um, jean shirts. I think I have a maybe two. I actually have three jean shirts, but only two of them I really wear. Um, but this one would have to be my favorite. Um, this one right here. Um, I wear it all year round. <laughs> I wear it in the winter time. I've worn this. So I just unroll my sleeve or roll it up a little bit. I've worn it in the summertime. I roll my sleeves all the way up here. Um, I wear it around my waist with certain outfits, like different things. I'll you know tie it around my waist. Um, I wear this with anything. I've worn it with skirts. I've worn it with dresses. I've worn it with pants, shorts everything and it was getting to the point that my little brother he was saying anytime i come up to the house he was like oh you have your uniform on i'm like what are you talking about he was talking about my jean shirt because i wear it all the time I'm like so what i love this shirt as long as it's clean it doesn't matter how many times i wear this shirt so you know i love this shirt this is my favorite shirt i think that's my favorite that's in my closet is this um kind of see-through knitted um, vest I guess you would say vest or camisole shawl maybe um, it's knitted and um, it's long and it has the fringes on the end um, I wear this a lot I've worn it in the winter time too.